Hello and welcome to RM Moore STEM Academy Curriculum Night. We are so glad that you could join us. We would like to introduce you to our 2024-2025 fourth grade teachers. Our math, science, and social studies teachers are Mrs. Denise Bennett, Ms. Sharon Bird, Ms. Macy Hester, and Ms. Jessica Magardo. Our language arts teachers are Ms. Stephanie Cisneros, Mrs. Erin Sutherland, Mrs. Lindsay Hudgens, and Mrs. Whitney Oliver. ELA Curriculum. During this time, students will be focused on reading and writing strategies. They will receive 120 minutes of instruction. During that time, we will have small groups that are focused on your child's learning for closing gaps, as well as excelling their learning and understanding of the standards and strategies. We will be focused on, in semester one, we'll be focused on text structure and informational writing, as well as compare and contrast literary text and narrative writing. In the second semester, we'll be more focused on main idea and opinion writing, as well as analyzing nonfiction and integrating, integrating text and informational writing. This year, fourth grade will be learning about the Georgia math standards. Each day we will spend 90 minutes of instruction during math class. Our class will include whole group lessons, vertical tasks, number talk, differentiated small groups, and iReady time on the computer. Each semester will be consisted of different units. In unit one, we're gonna be learning about connections with place value, addition, subtraction of whole numbers, Unit two will be about patterning algebraic reasoning. Unit three, reasoning about multiplication and division. We'll also begin unit four during the first semester and we'll finish it up during the second semester. This will be about fractions and decimals. Unit five is about building conceptual understanding of angles and measurements. And unit six will be reasoning with sh shapes. And then we will end our year with unit seven with the culmination. Science standards will be covered in class and during STEM specials. Teachers will use integrated units to plan cross-curricular lessons. Science topics will include ecosystems, weather, water cycle and predicting weather, space, which includes stars and planets and Earth's movement, light and sound, and force and motion. In social studies class, we're going to be learning about the social study, Georgia social studies standards. We will be using integrated units to plan cross-curricular lessons. The topics will include connecting themes, forming a new nation, challenges of a new nation, 
the nation expands, civil war and reconstruction, and economics. So we'll begin with the Revolutionary War and we'll move all the way through Reconstruction. Please follow the link below for a complete list of the fourth grade standards. They can also be found on the CCSD website. In fourth grade, we take various assessments throughout the year. We have our CCSD reading and math screeners, which are the iReady math diagnostic and the star proficient reading. We have additional literacy assessments, which are the scholastic reading levels and letters, phonics and spelling. And these are all administered at the beginning of the year, the middle of the year and at the end of the year. We also have grade level assessments. We have unit assessments, lesson assessments and our standards based common formative assessments, which we refer to as CFAs for our priority standards. We also use rubrics and checklists throughout the year to monitor understanding and mastery. In fourth grade, we will also take the right score assessment two times this year, and that is monitoring their writing progression. And it mimics the milestones writing assessment, so it is great practice for this assessment at the end of the year. As you may know, our students take the Georgia milestones assessment at the end of the year. Please visit the Georgia DOE website for parent resources for preparing for the milestones that we take in the spring. You may access these resources by clicking on the link on the slide. There are several different assessments that Georgia gives to different students. One is the access test for English language learners and to determine their proficiency. One is the WIDA alternate access test, and those are for English language learners with significant cognitive disabilities. And the last one is Georgia Alternative Assessment, and that is for stu students with significant cognitive disabilities. Homework requirements for fourth grade. Read 20 minutes nightly minimum. Your child will occasionally have reading response prompts to respond to in his or her journal. Practice math facts. Teachers will occasionally send home practice for extra support. Please check your child's folder nightly. Canvas can also be used to review any units that we are covering in class. Here are some reading strategies that you can use with your child at home. Make connections, visualize, ask W questions, ask deeper questions, and synthesize and infer. Canvas is used frequently during class and may be used at home as well. You can monitor your child's progress through Canvas by logging in. You can have your child log in how they do in the classroom, or you can message your teacher for a pairing code. Goal setting. In order for students to take ownership of their own learning, they will be setting goals. Personal goals will be set by each student based on their data, and they will be able to keep track of their goals in their goal folder. For example, students may keep track of the data themselves by how many lessons they pass on iReady and the number of books they have read.
Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have loved having your child so far this school year, and it is going to be a great year in fourth grade.